All right, Jermichael Finley is here, formerly of the Green Bay Packers. Firstly, uh, how is media day, media night, and radio row been treating you? Uh, it's awesome, man. It's great, to, it's great to get here, see all the outlets of the media, see fellow teammates, and see uh, – You literally just looked at me when you said teammates. No, you ain't, no, you ain't my teammate. No, no, you really? just did. Yeah, you yeah. just initiated. I know. I, I was trying to give you eye contact. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Uh, you're working with uh, Pure Sports Recovery. Tell me about it. Uh, it's awesome, man. It's a uh, – Pure Sports Recovery is, uh, is a life saver for myself. Um, after, you know what I mean, my injury, you know what I mean, I went into uh, uh, some crazy deep depression, man. I, went, I had anxiety, I had an impulsiveness where I wasn't making the right decisions. And um, I got a phone call uh, because my wife at the time was calling Pierre, was like, he need help. So I was like, okay, I'll go. Um, and when I went, man, they, they, they re- what I want to say, rewired my brain, brain re, man, it was, it was insane. Really? It was crazy. They, so what they, specifically? Yeah. They, they slowed down the hamsters. They put it on my brain to the point where my impulsiveness, my anxiety was at, and they slowed it down to the point where my I wasn't racing and thinking crazy things. And, man, when I say it was a life saver, it was one of the best best decisions I, I made. I read your uh, thing on the Players' Tribune as well. Yeah. So it's also this, and it seemed like getting back into coaching helped you as well. Oh, yeah, getting back to coaching, helping my kids, helping doing all that uh, type of stuff, man, it, it was it was sweet, man. And now get into um, the, I mean, the oil and gas business. I work for a company, uh, Shiner Energy, out in Texas. And, and just having a purpose in life, man, it's helping my fellow teammates and my brothers get healthy now, too. And what is the one thing, sorry to cut you off, but like, what is the one thing that you would say if you had to give advice to current players going from college to the NFL and knowing, not necessarily them knowing, but knowing what you've gone through, what advice would you give them that they have to inherit the risks of playing such a tough sport? Yeah, there's it, it, no way around it. Uh, football is a violent sport, and that, that's what you do, and that's what, you know what I mean, think how things go. Uh, you can't hide. It's, uh, and when you get to the NFL as a rookie, they tell you 99.9% .9 you're going to get injured. As a matter of fact, when you're going to get injured. Right. And it, it, it's, it's like that. So, man, I, I, I let my kid play. He's 10 years old. We travel, play football. Is that a tough decision for you? Um, not at all, man, because my kid, we moved to Texas from Green Bay, and my kid was like, Dad, all my, all my kids play football. You know what I mean? And I'm like, man, hold up. <laughs> and the thing was, it's like I was like, get your butt out here, and we're going to play it. And we're going to play it. We're going to go hard, and we're going to play it right. When you said hold up, did they go, way? <laughs> I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying any of the words, bro. I'm not trying to get in trouble. Uh, worst, worst quarterback you ever went up against. And you could totally say a guy from Chicago who was yeah. traded for two first-round picks. Yeah, yeah, if you want your stats to get padded, you want to play Chicago because <laughs> because uh, uh, Cutler will throw you the ball. I wish I was a cornerback because I would have made it to the Pro Bowl <laughs> on Chicago. Because you played them twice a year? Yeah, because we played them twice a year. He would have threw you three picks a game. So six picks, I would have made it to the Pro Bowl. I got Bowl. two more for you, then we're going to let you go. That's all good. If you did play on defense, you would be competing against Charles Woodson for interceptions. Yeah. Who would have more? Uh, see, see Wood. I, I, I gotta get it. He, he's the goat now. I, I can't, I can't knock no, C. Wood. No, there's, there's he's the goat. There's only one. Uh, there's only one goat. Tom yeah. Brady now. Stop you want to start this me. debate right now? Stop playing with me. Tom, Tom Brady Tom over Brady. Michael Jordan. No, no, really? I'm not, I'm not going. Oh. With that. No, I'm not going with that one. I'm sorry. Okay. No, you're right. Thanks for backtracking. <laughs> Appreciate it. Sir Michael Finley, man. Thank you so much. Right, thanks, Have man. a great time. You're watching TYT Sports and keep it clean. Thank you.